Okay. We are back. We are back from lunch. Hey, what's with that uh, bloated toad, uh, Judge Antonin Scalia? Has he lost his there mind? There is another nut that belongs in a nut house. Has he lost his mind? He never had one. That jowly bloated toad, like he's got that Jerry Falwell face. I don't know. Some, uh, some uh, uh, guy said that he should be in a lower court. No, he shouldn't be in a lower court or any court. He should be in a nut house. I wouldn't even trust him with small claims court. Well, the, 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 the guy wanted him in traffic court. <laughs> oh, jeez. Traffic court. Yeah, yeah, traffic violations. Yeah. I don't think you can get any lower than that. <laughs> Pretty low, I guess. It's municipal. <laughs> yeah, it's not even small claims. It's, yeah, right. What a... Well, he's a dope. Oh my god. Him and Thomas and uh, Roberts. Clarence Thomas? Clarence Thomas. They're what, jerks. What Pure are they, what are they like, and out and out jerks. What are they like, popes? They're there forever? They are Catholic. Until they, they're there forever until they drop dead or... Yes, or, yes, yes, or, yes, or yes. Retire yes. from illness or... Yes. They are there for life. I mean, you would think, you would think that since they, well, first of all, uh, Congress and Senate should should not be in for more than two terms. I mean, these guys that are there for like decades, I mean, that's insane. Well, every time they try to do uh, term limits, it doesn't get done. So okay, because so those people want to make a career of it. So it's like it's like it's like a monarchy of the past. It's like it's an it's an oligarch with with corporations instead of having a king and a queen. They, it's a monarchy. They hate government, but yet they want to be in it. Well, they okay. they they hate socialism. They hate government programs unless it's going into their pocket. That's correct. They if, just voted on. Uh, it's going to them. I think it's it might be 200, but it's either 100 or 272 billion dollars. They just voted more subsidies for the big boys and girls. Okay, more than before. But God forbid you add one percent to SNAP food stamps or the veterans uh, or taking care of the first uh, the 9/11 yes, first yes. the 9/11 first responders. Uh, uh, or yeah, or our veterans that came back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Heaven forbid mm -hmm. any money should go to them. The real patriots. Yep. That's what happened ever since the Reagan era. All goodies go upward instead of downward. I, I heard from some uh, um, Hollywood legends that Ronald Reagan was not a very smart and, and a good uh, no, he wasn't. president of the Screen Actors <laughs> Guild. Yes. He was not a good Screen Actors Guild leader. And a mouthpiece for cigarettes and GE and Borax. You think Reagan... Borax, 20 mule team. Remember that 20 yeah. mule team? You think Reagan... Hey! <laughs> you think Reagan was uh, like uh, G.W. Bush, a good puppet? Exactly. A good puppet? And when he was suffering his Alzheimer's, he was probably worse. Baker led him around by the nose. James Baker. Okay? Yes. You mean when he was, every question he was like, Well, I, I, I don't recall. Well, I, 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 I didn't think that I sold weapons to Iran, but they tell me I did, so I guess I did. <laughs> And he used to talk about the Contras in Nicaragua. Yeah, freedom fighters. The Contras. Yeah, uh, Contras yeah. are freedom fighters. <laughs> they were nothing but killers. Killers! You know, President Assad of Syria is pretty pissed off at um, Washington. Uh, he. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I mean, he he mentioned about the U.S. being, you know, a little too friendly with Turkey and and and. Well, uh, Turkey's in NATO. We're in NATO yeah, all together. You, you figure that right? Yeah. You figure that out, but Turkey was buying the uh, the uh, smuggled oil from ISIS. And why were Israeli troops just uh, shooting a breeze with ISIS troops uh, at the go. border? Why were they? They were all having friendly conversation. There you go. That never hit the mainstream media ever. Israeli soldiers. McCain was over there with him in Syria, ch chatting with ISIS. Mm -hmm. McCain. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, how you mean McCain when he was instrumental in them getting armed? Bingo. Back then. Ah. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. War is a racket. Major Schmedley Butler, Major General Schmedley Butler. So, if um, the average American, including young people, um, spent more time getting their information from the internet and and uh, not watching mainstream news, then that means that young people will be smart enough to never join the military. Because there's no, there's no incent, there's no positive incentive, even for a poor kid, to join the military. A poor kid can get a grant. He can get um. He can go to uh, unemployment and get a um, a workforce uh, uh, four thousand dollars. In other words, there are programs. If you're a minority and you you're a woman, you get more. But there are programs to have you learn a skill, a trade, you know, get some something to put on your to resume. Do that in school. You don't have to join the armed forces. We used to do that in school, remember? Tech schools. I remember Tech that. schools. You learned electronics, you learned automotive, you like, learned like the one over here, Bergen yeah, Tech. Were, yeah, Bergen yeah, County. Yeah. It's called Bergen County Technical High School. Yeah. Bergen County Technical School. Yes. Passaic County has one. They all have them. But I don't know if they're used anymore like they used to be you for people to them. gain a trade. No, now, now, yeah. now everybody's going to those uh, uh, schools, those tech schools that are advertised late at night. Yeah, but the point is if they continue with school in the first place, Instead Most of them are dropping instead out. Instead of dropping out yeah. and joining a gang in a poor neighborhood, if they with no future, if they continued with education, yeah. there is, there are, there is free education to be had, and uh, there is hope to keep alive, to keep, keep hope, hope alive. To keep hope alive. No, keep I'm serious. You do. A young person does not have to join the military ever and 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 get his legs arms hands half of his head blown off or die you don't have to and uh um hey a navy recruiter told me that a nuclear submarine oh it's huge it's like a hotel room they get my ass he's <laughs> a liar was that uh, was that like six men in a room with bunks? Hey, hey, man! I was 18 years old, and I was able to find out he was lying. <laughs> now, you know, I mean, um, and you never believe. You're the, lucky you found that out. And you never believe before the before you put your jam handcock. You never believe the commercials, the recruiting, the recruiting commercials, and and honestly, if my son was told that he had to sign up for the draft, I say, no. Nah. Well, there is no draft. Now. He ain't going to sign up. For on it. It. I want you to, they want kids to register. So. There's no draft. No. There's no draft. Some people want it back because... I can imagine. What is happening now is the low-income people are the ones going on the battlefield. The rich aren't going. Well, because the... the, the if you're the smarter you are, the less, mm -hmm. the more you. Mr. Chin, he had what four, five deferments. 
But he he ferments Mr. Sh Warhawk himself. But, he, but the, uh, what does Jesse call him? Chicken Hawk? Mr. Statue. But he he was sh very antsy to get other people's kids out on the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Make money for Halliburton, right? And him. Yeah. He is an old geezer with one foot on a banana peel, the other foot in a grave. And a battery heart. A mechanical battery operated. I'm sorry, it's over here. A mechanical battery, a battery operated heart. It's here. And he still doesn't have enough money. Most people, when they do the Star Spangled Banner, you'll see they've got their hand over here. It's the really? heart is here. Oh, like where Iron Man has a it's nuclear... It's a little to the left of center. Yeah, Iron Man has nuclear powered heart. It was right, right, right on, in the center. It was right, right beneath the center sternum. Yeah, so it's like... Um, you know, smarter you are to hopefully the more reality you see and don't get your news from the mainstream media <laughs> but there are idiots that do anyway back to the readings oh god okay don't get man quack 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 this man is a lunatic uh -huh. There's more than one guess. I know that's for sure. I am a Republican. I served in the New Jersey General Assembly, and I am embarrassed by what Trump is doing to our party. He's not the only Republican that feels that way. Most Republicans, as do most Democrats, have a middle-of-the-road political philosophy. Trump's views are extreme. He's got Bush and Cheney bashing him. And on America. <laughs> My parents came to the United States from Italy. And if we were to stop all Muslims from entering the United States, it would be contrary to our American beliefs. And more in line with the radical, again using the wrong word, ISIS group. Oh boy. We need a president. Unlike President Obama, who will make decisions for the majority, not for small groups to ensure obtaining their votes. People must think Obama is this, this, uh... He doesn't need any votes. This king, this dictator that, that uh, you know, he's got to get everything approved. Yeah. You know? Exactly. But he, why is he looking for votes? He, he can't run again. He's not looking for any votes. It is time that we... As Americans say, enough is enough, and elect a president who will represent the majority, not groups looking for continuous free benefits. Obama's from Honolulu, Hawaii, isn't he? He's from Hawaii. He's born in Hawaii. Well, if I was him, I'd retire and, and move to Hawaii. Oh, after he the will, or he'll do like Clinton uh, does with his uh, 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 um, law firm. No, he's got a, uh, what the hell is it, that, the non-profit. He'll do a non-profit with his wife. Yeah. He'll get, he'll be involved, civically involved. Uh, yeah. Instead or get of, a job, or you might see him get a job from one of the big companies. Oh one gosh. of the big corporations. Th that that would reveal, you. that would reveal a lot if he did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's not going to let live in a big mansion like the guy on Magnum P.I. That was his name, the short guy. Yeah. Guy that hires him all the time. The one with the two Doberman pinches running oh, on. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wiggins. Wiggins. Mr. Mr. Wiggins. Wiggins. Wiggins was also with um, Carol Burnett. You, yeah, you know that... It was, uh, what do you call it, play? But you know he wasn't British. He was from Texas. That was a fake British accent. And you know how many people from England sent him fan mail? <laughs> I'm serious, you know. Oh, God. So Concerning Donald Trump's policy on Muslims, <laughs> Governor Christie was quoted as saying, This is the kind of thing that people say when they have no experience and don't know what they're talking about. Here's a question for Christie. What is he going to do about fighting terrorism? 
He claims that he didn't know his closest aides were allegedly shutting down lanes to the George Washington Bridge. And he's going to be able to stop future terrorist attacks? Trump's plan is a proposal that should be up for debate. It is his opinion to which he's entitled. His priority is to have a plan to protect the American people. What plans do the other candidates have? They won't say. Probably because they don't have any. <coughs> Until they can propose a viable solution, they should stop criticizing Trump and cease the grandstanding. Mm -hmm. What about Hillary Clinton? Mm -hmm. What are her plans? It is apparent she is devoid of any plans relating to foreign policy and fighting terrorism and won't take a stand on anything until she sees how the political winds are blowing. Like a, she's like a chameleon. A chameleon. A chameleon. I turned red at one time, I turned blue at B another Bill time. Bill was like that, right? Bill, he was like, uh, he, he always checked for the winds, like he was playing, like he was yes. hitting a golf ball with a driver club, you know, he always checked I the wind. It. I feel your pain. And the crocodile tear coming <laughs> down his face. Probably had a ha he probably had an onion, you know, to make himself cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. He or he put some hot sauce in his eye or something to get the tear going. Well, I got news for you. He made a lot of people cry, losing their houses and etc. Because this stupid glass eagle going bye bye. Okay? I mean, I mean, that wasn't that uh, instigated by Newt Gingrich. Was no, Nudie is not involved in that. But he was, uh, Clinton was in... Summers and uh, whatchamacallit. But Clinton... The people from Wall Street he hired for his own uh, 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 cabinet or whatever. Wasn't Clinton in, in, involved with something in terms of the welfare system with Newt Gingrich? 1996, with we, we got, did away with welfare as we know it. Yeah, because Newt Gingrich, no money, New Gingrich was the one that was bitching and moaning about everybody being a moocher. Yes. And he and he was crazy enough to want to take uh, uh, to want to give poor children uh, a job as a cu custodian in their schools because <laughs> their mom was getting food stamps. He wanted that to was put, only, that he, was only a couple years ago. He wanted to put the kids yeah. to work. That was 2014, I think. Oh, uh, that he came up with that wacky yeah. idea. <laughs> Child labor because your mom is getting food stamps. Yeah. Oh, wow! They sh you really living high on the hog when you get food stamps. Big damn deal. And then they wanted to go further, like you know, you can't buy <laughs> this with your food stamps. Oh, that's a luxury. Oh, and you can't buy that with your food stamps, and you can't buy any desserts. Oh, cold cuts is a luxury. You can't buy steak. You can't buy. Seafood you can't buy. What's left? Pet f dog food? People can eat dog food? Beans and rice. Oh, you can only spend your food stamps on uh, on on rice and beans. That's it. That's it. And we're and be and and, uh, and uh, you're lucky you're getting both rice and beans. Correct. Right. And then eventually, you're you're um, evolved into. Um, not evolved, de de devolved into a um, a slave. Well, I would think that uh, somebody uh, is a slave under those conditions. Right. No, I mean they, they'll oh. stuff you in a privatized. When you become homeless, ah, then, yeah. then they'll say you're arrested for vagrants. They'll put you in a privatized prison, then you work for nothing. Correct. Yeah, there you go. And that's what they want. Well, yeah, because they've never gotten over slavery. Oh, you're homeless. It's great. Well, and then if you feed the homeless, they arrest the person who feeds the homeless, uh -huh. and he goes, to, or he or she goes to the privatized prison. And the uh, the people who arrest them, they claim they're good Christians. Hey, an old an old 
a very old man who was a, a man who is a pastor, a minister in Florida was getting arrested yes. for feeding, for doing his job as a minister, yes. for feeding the homeless. Yes. He's a minister, he's doing his job. They were arresting him. And finally, you know, they said, you know what? The judge says, leave the guy alone, leave the old guy alone. So what does that mean? If he was a young minister, they would have threw away the key? I guess so, because they don't like they don't like Christians doing what the Bible says. Yeah. They have their own brand of Christianity. But they call it enabling when And you, that's what they uh, enabling when they're you They're allowing them. them to breed. As that one congressman or whatever says. Well, they want to depopulate yes. the, the poor. Yes. They want to depopulate the poor. Yes, if they can't be used as a commodity, a slave, then get rid of them. Because yeah. they are only sucking up our resources. The key word there is our resources. They automatically uh, assume, assume that because they're rich that it is our Earth's resources. That's not resources of the earth for everyone. No, God forbid. Well, yeah. Well, Peter Brabeck of Nestle's believes that uh, that you you do not have a right to drinking water. That's it correct. should be privatized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Governor Christie is shaping up to be a lightweight contender. <laughs> lightweight. I could have been a contender. I could have been a contender. For the Republican presidential nomination. Even with an endorsement from the New Hampshire Union leader last month, he staggers to the podium, carrying a lot of negative baggage. Well, he has to stagger. It's the only way he can get around, you know. But a Union endorsing a, an obnoxious Republican like him. Something's they not right about that. They include his unconvincing, shameful excuse of playing dumb to any knowledge of the George Washington Bridge scandal. His failure to inf reform the state pension system. And his woeful handling and disbursing of federal money to Superstorm Sandy victims. We're stronger than the storm, his commercial said. It's over three years now, right? Yeah, the money has, hasn't gotten to certain people yet. Only the businesses. Last, during this frightening time of terrorist attacks, it seems that instead of spending most of his time in New Jersey, our governor's priority and focus is on campaigning around the country to further his own agenda. Yeah, his own agenda. His own agenda. Not staying in New Jersey to work, do his job. Yeah. You know, only Bernie Sanders is Out campaigning and, and doing his job in Washington at the same time. Life expectancy in the United States has stalled for three straight years. A child born last year can expect to make it to 78 years and nine and one half months. The same prediction made for the past two years. In most of the years since World War II, life expectancy in the United States has inched up thanks largely to medical advances, public health campaigns, and better nutrition and education. The last time it was stuck for three years was in mid-1980s. Not clear why life expectancy has been flat, but suicides and fatal drug overdoses probably are playing a role. I, th I think a big role also is that the um, because the Republicans 
have the House and the Senate that all these food companies are deregulated and uh, uh, and, 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 and they're putting more toxic uh, ingredients in the food. Everything is spiked today, even your drinking water, your bottled water, and uh, it, it, it's, it, drugs are being pushed, pharmaceuticals are being pushed uh, very aggressively, uh, but the overall quality of life has gone down because of the, the food in, in your average market, supermarket, is, is crap. You know, uh, you, unless you're an educated consumer and you know how to shop properly and pick and choose, you know, if you're an average numbskull, you, you're going to buy uh, strictly based on price alone and uh, <coughs> you are what you eat. You know. Obesity being on the uprise as an epidemic also plays a, a big factor. The man accused of killing three people at a planned paranoid clinic stunned a courtroom on Wednesday when he declared himself a warrior for babies yeah key word being babies where are the babies and yeah. said he was guilty and won't go to trial Well, that means a lo much longer sentence for him, possibly. Uh, uh, well, they automatically, if it's premeditated murder, you should automatically get life in prison. Not, not this uh, parole for good behavior bullshit. Robert Louis Deere, 57, made the outburst before he was formally charged with 179 counts of first-degree murder attempted murder and other crimes. Bearded, unkempt, and cuffed at the wrists and ankles, Deer repeatedly disrupted the hour-long hearing, interrupting his public defender, Daniel King, and objecting to King's attempts to limit publicity in the case. King, who represented Colorado theater shooter James Holmes, has asked the judge to impose a gag order on participants in the Planned Parenthood case before a trial. <coughs> You'll never know what I saw in that clinic. Atrocities! The babies! Huh? That's what they want to seal! Deer shouted at one point prompting a deputy to squeeze his shoulder in an effort to quiet him. Atrocity? Atrocities he saw? Seal the truth, huh? Kill the babies! That's what Planned Parenthood does! What about, uh, what about all that, um, that crap on the, uh, internet about uh, Planned Parenthood selling the, uh, was it fetal parts? Embryo and fetal parts? Yeah, that was all fake. It had nothing to do with that. And and, and Carly Fiorina, like, uh, lied. lied about, about it. Yeah. Mm. King did not address the outburst, but raised doubts about whether Deer is competent to stand trial saying defense attorneys wanted investigators to turn our evidence to turn over evidence as soon as possible so they could assess the depth of his mental illness uh, here we go he's gonna he's gonna get off with uh what an easier sentence and and, and the, the the deaths of the the the, uh, the deaths of the innocent people will not be avenged There'll be no retribution, blah blah blah. This is one part of one part of ultra liberalism that I'm dead set against. Nobody thinks about the victims and their families. Do you know who this lawyer is? Dear exclaimed of King.